they stop blocking the work of parliament and get the chief of staff to testify immediately. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. We continue to do the work of Parliament by adding additional meetings to PROC so that we can continue to have as many meetings as possible. Madam Speaker, we are working even when we are on constituency weeks because we find this issue so important. Our members are willing to be there to bring ministers back again. We brought public servants back again. We brought the national security community back because we want to ensure that Canadians are getting the answers. But, Madam Speaker, Conservatives continue to play partisan games. We're not going to let that get in the way of the very real work we have to do to strengthen our institutions. Member for Calgary, Shepherd. They're stalling for time. They're not allowing the committee to get to a vote to call the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff to testify. They're stalling for time by announcing a special rapporteur to take even more time to do the one thing that we need, which is a national public inquiry. They're stalling for time because now they're directing to ENSICOP, where we'll hear secret hearings, secret evidence, secret conclusions, and every single MP on that committee can be vetoed by the Prime Minister. Wow. It's very, very simple. They are stalling for time, and only a national public inquiry will stop it. Will they call one? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Public Safety. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I will remind this House that Canadians and Canadians alone determined the outcome of the 2019 and the 2021 elections. We will use every tool available to us, unlike the Harper Conservative government, who did nothing to create an oversight committee of parliamentarians. It was one of the first acts that we did as a government. The, the National Security ENSICOP is a committee of parliamentarians that provides oversight. The UK has had one since 1994. We were late to the game, but we did it when we formed government, unlike the opposition. The Honourable Member for Mégantic-Lérable. Madam Speaker, the Prime Minister was informed three times before the 2019 elections that a Liberal candidate had been targeted for its, uh, their links to the Beijing regime. The Prime Minister didn't deny that. The Prime Minister and his Chief of Staff attended briefings about those allegations and that intelligence that was provided by CSIS. We're rightly asking to hear from the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff at committee so that she can tell us what she knows about those briefings, Madam Speaker. Will the Prime Minister allow Katie Telford to appear? The Government House Leader. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. You know, interesting enough, foreign interference into elections is not something that's new. In fact, Madam Speaker, if you look into it, you'll see that there were reports to the former Prime Minister, Stephen Harper. And unbelievable what you recognize that the leader of today's Conservative Party was the minister responsible. And what did the minister responsible, the current leader of the Conservative Party, do? Absolutely nothing. Madam Speaker, we have been very aggressive on this file, and we will ensure the integrity of democracy here in Canada. The Honourable Member for Megan Ticlerable. Let's talk about what's happening nowadays, Madam Speaker. The Prime Minister learned that a member of his caucus had been involved in Beijing's meddling and was informed about that. The Prime Minister did not deny that and did not deny that his party received illegal funds from Beijing. Now we understand why he called on his members on the Procedure and House Affairs Committee not to allow Katie Telford to appear. They're afraid that she'll come and tell the truth under oath, Madam Speaker. Why does he continue to refuse to allow Katie Telford to appear before a public parliamentary committee? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Again, Madam Speaker, what we have seen is a litany of questions. You know, Wednesday there was like 20-some questions questions from the leader of the official opposition. And what I would really want the Conservative Party to recognize, that as I indicated, it is not a new issue. And when the Conservatives had the opportunity to actually deal with the issue, they intentionally chose to do nothing. Madam Speaker, since 2015, whether it's this Prime Minister or the Ministers responsible, we have taken tangible actions. We will continue to do so because it's protecting the integrity of our democracy. All of us believe in it. It's an apolitical. 
So uh, time is up uh, for that question, but I do want to remind members that they've had an opportunity to ask questions. They can't be asking more questions or making comments while the answer is being given to them. So I would hope that they would want to listen to it so that they can do follow-up uh, questions thereafter. Uh, questions et uh, excuse. Um, C'est ça. Questions et commentaires. Questions.